Hey, Dan Passarelli here. Happy, happy Friday. Yeah, we got it. We got another week down, baby. And I shouldn't say another week down. What we really got is another week up. Take a look at the S&P 500 this week. Boom. Up day, up day, up day, up day. We talked about those two hammer days right here. And we did get that follow through today. That means more likely than not, we get follow through for next week. Now let's talk about next week. So next week, uh, next week we have a shortened week. Well, not really a shortened week. Uh, we get Thanksgiving holiday. This coming Thursday is going to be closed and we end a little bit early. We have an early close on the Friday following that so that people can go to stores and act like animals while they try to get their Black Friday discounts. Um, yeah, so there's that. Now, all that being said, what else is on the calendar for next week? Well, next week, Monday, not a lot. Tuesday, not a lot. But Wednesday is a big day. Wednesday, we've got the GDP uh, coming out. And part of that, what comes out with that is the PCE, which is the Fed's what? That's right. It's the Fed's preferred inflation gauge. So that's a big thing right there. Uh, it's been sort of in that spot, uh, you know, kind of close, kind of close. Anything that really deviates from things we've saw in the past or deviates from expectations could have a profound move on the market up or down, uh, up. We've already got wind in the sails going up from a technical standpoint, and there could be more wind if we see lower inflation, or it can reverse course if we see much higher inflation. So that's really the big news next week. On Friday, there's not really too much out except for the Fed's balance sheet, getting some more information to see how the Fed has been whittling that down lately and maybe what their plan is going forward. Hope that helps, and I hope you have a fabulous weekend. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.